Okay, folks, when we, when we think about improving our games, we, we really need to think about it in two dimensions. Advancement game, scoring game. Traditionally speaking, the majority of our practicing efforts are devoted toward the long game, the golf swing, where, in fact, the, the reality is that we're going to most quickly become better players and lower our handicaps by improving our short, short game skill. That's right, Mike. I mean, you know, folks, if you look at the rule book, Rule one defines our game, and even in that, it talks about you advance the ball in succession of strokes until it's whole. So even rule one describing the game assumes that there's an advancement portion of the game, and there's a scoring portion of the game. So what Mike and Todd have presented to you in the first parts that you'll see in the website is a, is a very good and very precise planned way of improving that advancement game. But what I'll do later on in the website is we're going to focus on that scoring portion or advancing it until it's hold. We want to worry about and work on the holding of the ball. And what we're going to show you will be how to putt better, how to chip better, but most importantly we're going to also talk about that plan and how you blend the advancement game that Mike and Todd are talking about along with the scoring plan and scoring game that I'm going to show you. Uh, in order for you to really see a lower score in what you'll perceive as, a, as an improvement of your game, Mike. Excellent. So important to get that ball in the hole as quick as you can once we're inside that 100-yard range. That's right. That's right. So take a look at it. I think you'll get a, a, a great improvement in your scoring aspect. The advancement game is going to get better, but most importantly, that handicap is going to come down because you're going to have a plan and a path to lower that score. Excellent. Cool.